Welcome back. And today I'm excited because number one, we are in the new tech studio setup. It came out great. And um, I'm definitely going to be doing a follow up video on that one, just showing how it looks and befores and afters and um, plans for this little workspace that we have over here. So stay tuned. Hopefully the lighting is better on this video and my sound quality is a little better. So yeah. All right. So we're going to be taking a look at the Lenovo, Lenovo Think Center M53. And the reason why I'm working on this is number one, it was given to me. And number two, I need a little computer for my little setup over here. What I like about these computers is they're great. They run Windows, you can browse, and probably that's about it. But in the garage, sometimes I just need to have something set up small, simple, and easy, easily accessible all the time. So I could just look up uh, information. If I'm working on a car, I could just pull up the uh, schematics and diagrams and listen to tunes because I could hook up to my uh, speakers over here. And this gets the job done. Now, I love my test bench. And if you follow the channel, you know I did my little custom test bench. But it takes up a little too much space in this workspace over here. And I don't want to, you know, clutter myself over here. So I typically go with these. If you've been following the channel, you know that I've done the Dell Wise. I've done the HP Think Client. And those are pretty good. But, of course, like any budget enthusiast, if somebody gives you money for them, for more than what you pay for, or any entrepreneur, you sell it. And this one is going to be a perfect for what I want to do with it. So let's talk about this. Let's open it up. So screws in the back, take it off, just one little screw. Comes with our Wi-Fi antenna, and we'll talk about the specs and everything. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so let's slide it open. And as you can see, the meat and potatoes of the Lenovo M53. That's right. That's all it is. So let me pull up the specs. We're looking at an Intel Pentium J2900 clocked at 2.41 gigahertz, which I believe the CPU is possibly under here. I've never had one of these before, but from what I'm looking at, it's probably under here. It's soldered into the motherboard, so you're not going to be able to upgrade that with any at all. Max turbo speed is 2.6 gigahertz, um, quad core. Uh, the cache memory, 2 megs, 2 megs per processor, yada, yada, yada. DDR3, 4 gigs of RAM, so we're going to upgrade that. I have an 8 gig stick over here, so we're definitely going to upgrade that. Uh, let's see, say to 300, 8 gigs of RAM is the max you could put. Comes with a 500 gig mechanical 7200 RPM hard drive, and that is no bueno, sorry for the noise, for what we're doing. And we're going to pop in a 240 gig. SSD. So these are two major upgrades that we're going to be doing for it. Let's see anything else, any good specs that we need to know about. Uh, communications, the wireless protocol, 802.11bgn and Bluetooth. So that's pretty much it. Of course, we're going to run Windows 10 and because it has its own Windows key in it, we'll be able to upgrade to Windows 10. So uh, I do like about it. It has its own little built-in speaker right over here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They're not the loudest, but they do definitely get the job done. So Let's take a spark, let's clean this off, and I think we gotta do something a little more with this. I think we need to do a little modding now that we have some space in this garage. So let me get this thing cleaned up real quick, and we'll come up, we'll put in the memory, the hard drive, at least make sure it turns on, boot up, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do to mod this. So our little Lenovo, she is up and running with our 240 gig SSD. We got our eight gigs of RAM, DDR3, and she runs fine. 
Uh, it's actually a smooth running little computer. And like I said, it's not a gaming computer or anything for that. This is just mostly just to go in the garage, look up stuff, research, uh, verify some wiring or some diagrams on anything I'm trying to do computer wise. And that's about it. All right, so we got the YouTube loaded and it seems to be running fine, smooth, no hiccups, no issues. The cool thing about this little computer is it has a little speaker. I don't know if that captures on the camera. It's not the loudest, but at least it's something and you don't have to worry about an external speaker, but it's something pretty cool. So let's take a look at the specs and then I'll talk about a few issues that I ran into. So as you can see, this is our specs over here. Everything we have, our Intel Pentium at 2.41 gigahertz, eight gigs of DDR3. Let me minimize my YouTube in the background because it's over talking to me. All right. So now one issue that I did run into is that with this, the fan actually was bad. And yeah, I was trying to, I think the bearing just is bad. It just started making a horrible noise, cutting on, cutting off. And then eventually it just stopped working. So I'm gonna have to get, order a new fan for this. I'm sure I can get this for about five, $10 on eBay or Amazon. So the temperature is a little high because it doesn't have a fan. It's at 60, 61. It's not terrible. I mean, it's, we need to get a new fan. So we'll definitely get a fan for it and that will definitely help this computer run a lot better. So the Lenovo 53, what do we think about it? It definitely runs a lot faster than the Dell Wise and definitely runs a lot faster than the HP Thin Clients that I had. Even when I used the T620 or the 630, can't remember, don't quote me. I know the T610 was incredibly slow. We were only able to run Windows 7 on it and it ran decent, but when I think I got the T620 and with the T620 it ran a little better, but it did still have some lagging. And this, I don't have any lag with it. And if I do have any lag, I'm sure it's slightly thermal throttling on it. So this is actually gonna be great for this work area that I'm using. And the fact that I could tuck it away, look up some research, and I don't have to type my bench with uh, my PC test bench. So very cool computer. And as you can see, easy to mod, made it a little, you know, custom in the sense. And if you definitely want to see how we did this and how we put this together and tips and tricks on kind of modding and customizing your computer, definitely check out our next video coming out after this one. Um, don't want to miss it. Real simple, easy stuff to do. Anybody can do it. And this actually only cost me maybe like $20 to do, maybe less. So, And just to kind of give you an idea of where we're going next with this, um, some of our builds, if you look over here, that's right. We got some computers, we got some Lenovo's, an Optiplex, a thermal tape case over here, and we got a retro build that we're gonna be messing with right over here. So you definitely wanna stay tuned, don't wanna miss this content coming out, and um, definitely subscribe, hit the like button, the notification buttons, so you can stay tuned for all the stuff we're gonna do, and just to kinda of give you more heads up, I don't know if it comes out in there, but yeah, we definitely got some cool stuff that has just come in, so don't wanna miss it. Thanks for watching, definitely know what you think about this Lenovo, and um, we'll see what we come up with next.